Did you know that myopia is reversible? You can actually get rid of glasses without surgery. What? Yes, that's correct. At least according to Jack Steiner, the founder of N Myopia, who actually reversed his own myopia without surgery. In his opinion, nearsightedness is not an illness, but a hundred billion dollar business. His full program on recovering your vision cost a hundred and nineteen dollars monthly for a twelve month subscription or a one time payment of one thousand one hundred and ninety seven dollars for life. Is he a scam artist? or a whistleblower. Before we get into the answer, we first need to understand our eyes. When we look at things, light enters our eye through the pupil, going through our lens, which works like a mirror. It is then neatly focused on the retina in the back of the eye that is connected to optical nerves, so our brain can see things clearly. When light enters the eye and does not focus properly on the retina, it causes blurry vision. When you cannot see things far away clearly, you have a condition called myopia. Myopia occurs if the eyeball is too long or the cornea, the clear front cover of the eye, is too curved. This is usually caused by genetics, excessive usage of eyes, and environmental conditions, etc. When you have myopia, an image of a distant object becomes focused in front of the retina making distant objects appear out of focus. Note that pseudomyopia is different from myopia, which changes the anatomy of the eyes. It occurs when a spasm of the ciliary muscle prevents the eye from focusing in the distance, sometimes intermittently. When you cannot see things close by clearly, you have a condition called hyperopia. Hyperopia happens when your eyeball grows too short from front to back, or when there are problems with the shape of your cornea or lens. This is usually caused by genetics and age, etc. When you have hyperopia, an image of a distant object becomes focused behind the retina, making objects up close appear out of focus. When you see things with a blurry vision, regardless of the distance of the object, or when you see a glare of halos around lights, it is likely that you have astigmatism. Astigmatism happens when your cornea or lens has a different shape than normal. The irregular or asymmetrical shape makes light bend differently as it enters your eye, causing a refractive error, making you have multiple focal points. Astigmatism is usually hereditary, which means it's a condition biological parents pass down to their children. It can also be caused by your eyelids putting too much pressure on your cornea. Astigmatism frequently worsens with age, and it generally stays stable until you turn 50. After then, your lens curvature progressively worsens each decade. To correct the visions, concave lenses or negative lenses are used for nearsighted, convex lenses or positive lenses are used for the farsighted, and asymmetrical lenses are used for people with astigmatism. That's why you usually have negative numbers marked on your glass prescription when you have myopia and positive numbers for hyperopia. Here's the overview of the three different eye conditions. Treatments. Now that we understand how our eyes work, we can take a look at the possible control and treatment measures available to us. This video is mainly focused with myopia, so this section will only discuss treatments available to myopia. As you can see in the chart, almost all treatments could bring side effects or complications to our eyes, except glasses. But glasses can also affect our mobility in sports or reduce our confidence. Seems like there is no perfect solution, so we cannot help but wonder is there a way to get rid of our glasses without surgery? If we can develop myopia without surgery, there must be a way to reverse it as well, because human body has amazing curing power. If we could do that, life would be amazing. <coughs> reverse. Jack Steiner, the founder of N Myopia, says, Yes, absolutely, you can do that. According to one journal, by wearing glasses with over or under correction, even for just 60 minutes, people's axial length can significantly change. According to another journal, eyes can shorten in the axial dimension in response to myopic defocus. From the two journals, we can conclude that first, 
Wearing glasses does worsen our myopia because most of the time we are using an overcorrected glasses. We are looking at close objects with glasses designed to look for far objects. Second, unlike we were told by everyone else that once you have myopia, your axial length increases and it is impossible to go back. The human visual system actually is capable of detecting the presence and sign of defocus and altering optical axial lengths to move the retina towards the image plane, which means by manually creating myopic defocus and training our eyes to refocus, we can shorten our eye axis and reduce myopia. This method is not new at all. It is called active focus with reduced lenses. You can find lots of journals online on active focus. The idea is easy. Wear progressively weaker or plus lenses and train your eyes to make effort to focus. You can wear weaker glasses that allows you to see see what you want to see, but not super clear. Then you can try to train your eyes to focus on the object that looks a bit blurry with your weaker glasses, stare at it for a few seconds, then you will be able to see a flash second of clear image, which would surprise you and encourage you to continue with the exercise. Do this training more often as a daily habit, then you will be able to switch to weaker glasses with time and in the end get rid of it. Now reading, your current glasses correction power is too strong, but your old glasses could be perfect. For example, me myself, I have minus 6, which is too strong for reading. I could use minus 4 glasses, which is a plus 2 lenses for me. For looking at distance, as long as you are not doing something dangerous that needs super good vision, such as driving, you can wear weaker glasses. I could wear minus 5 instead of minus 6 and try to do active focus exercises while looking far. Steiner's second idea is change life habits. For example, more outdoor activities, less screen time, let your eyes rest. His third method is diet. Eat food that contains vitamin A and E that is beneficial to eyes such as fish oil. What do people say about his method? Of course, we are not going to look at examples on his website. It can only be good examples because he wants to promote his sales. Let's look at stories people posted on other websites. One person said, I don't trust this website at all, but I give the reduced lenses method a try and it's working. The other one said, he never gets to the point, just look at other free resources online. The third person said, I got worse vision and have floaters due to excessive active focus training that stresses the eyes out, but I don't blame him, maybe it's just me. The fourth person said, I was doing active focus while surfing without knowing this method and my vision got better. The method he mentioned was exactly what I was doing unconsciously, so I am totally for and myopia. Pros and cons. Pros. Worth a try. We can all give it a try without stressing out our eyes too much and see if it actually improves our vision. Everyone's body reacts differently. Better habits. The good thing about his method is changing lifestyle. Consciously increase outdoor activities can not only protect our eyes but also improve mental health. I know nowadays screen time is inevitable because we all work with computers, but we can still let our eyes take some breaks. For me, I installed an app that automatically reminds me to take a 15 second break every 15 minutes and a 10 minute break every 45 minutes so I can look out the windows and have a tea break. You can set, of course, your own preference with the break time. Better diet. By knowing what's good for your eyes, you will consciously eat more of those food. Bonds. No guarantee. In my opinion, it is not scientifically proven that his method is effective and not damaging to your eyes. Lots of work. Disciplined needed. Jack Steiner said he had minus 5 myopia. It took him 5 years to get his normal vision back. I'm someone who wear glasses since middle school, from age 13 to age 25 over the course of 12 years. I went from minus 1 to minus 6. I changed 5 glasses in total. On average, 1 new glasses per 2.4 years. It's fair that I need to spend more than 5 years to correct my vision, which worsened over the past 12 years. However, spending 5 years or more trying to get your vision back is not easy. If you don't have a strong determination, I don't think you can stick to the end glasses that doesn't hurt my eyes or LASIK surgery or ICL implants which takes only a few seconds sounds better to me. Possible eye damage. By doing too much active focus exercise or if you're doing it wrong could lead to damage to your eyes. Conclusion. And myopia is not a scam nor legit. There are some truths to it but they only show you the good sides. 
It is also business. There is no need to pay for this guide because there are so many free content online. And you already know the basic principles after this video. The active focus and reduced lenses method is worth a try, but be careful not to stress out your precious eyes. It is a long process to do this, so have realistic expectations. In my opinion, before new technology comes out, glasses are still the best option compared to surgeries or this long-term exercise.